Hey, what's up guys, it's Nino. So today I have another tip for you that's about subtlety once again, kind of a trend we've had going recently on our videos. This one I like to call, and I used to have an action for it, which it's somewhere still out there. I'm sure a lot of you have it. It's called face focus. And it's nothing super, super technical and it has nothing to do with sharpness, you know, focus or blurring or anything like that. Focus as in taking your attention. Right. And I think a lot of times the face is very, very important in a shot. Now, it also might not be. That's my caveat real quick up front. You may not want the face to be the focus and that's fine. You may not want attention to go to the face. You obscured it for a reason or there's another reason for the shot to have attention elsewhere. And that's fine. But in this shot, for example, I consider this a very natural looking shot and it's done and it looks fine to me. However, let's say I want to enhance it a little bit. Her face is a little obscured behind sunglasses. She's kind of bent into her shoulder a little and the hair, you know, on her face a bit. It's supposed to have that vibe. But if I want a little more attention on the face, there's a, to me, a tried and true method that works really well using a couple of curves layers. But we start with one, we make a mask, and then we kind of duplicate everything and invert it all. Let me show you what I mean. This is usually what I do with face focus. I look at the shot and I go, okay, it's not bad, but let's try something. So I go to curves. If I were in a color shot, I would switch it to luminosity blend mode on the curve just to make it um, not shift around colors too much. Then I brighten just a little bit. This is not about a lot. It's just subtlety, just a bit. Okay. Invert that mask. And then I'll take a brush to paint on the mask and usually like a 10% flow or something just to make the mask a little more fluid and organic. I don't want to just go on or off. And then I'll come into the area of the face, usually the face, kind of brighten up maybe the shadows and the hair as well and just kind of focus in the darker areas and bring some attention to her face very subtly. Okay, we turn that off and on. You see, we've given attention to her face now, but there's another step. We immediately duplicate that curves layer. We take the mask and we invert it immediately, and then we darken that curves layer. So now look, we're darkening everything else. So we brighten her face and we darken everything else. So it's off, on. Now, if it's too strong, you don't like that effect, that's okay. A lot of times you can group them together if you want or just select them both and then start playing with the opacity. So here's like a 60% off and on, off and on. You could argue that the shots are the same, one with the curves and one without. They look the same, but one, the face is more of the focus. I'm going to put it a little stronger for you guys. So here, beautiful shot. Her face is more obscured, very subtle. This it brings a little more attention to her face. And when you do something this radical, like darkening everything but her face, you can still come back in on top of that and brighten a little bit overall if you feel like your shot got a little dark. But the ratio, the balance of her face to everything else in terms of luminosity has shifted. Very, very subtle effect. And if you look at the masks in question, they're very, very organic and subtle. But the key is to make your mask first for the face when you duplicate that entire layer, invert that mask and then darken. Again, subtlety is the key here. All right. To kind of give you a counter example, what we probably don't want is stuff like this. You may or may not want it a little stronger, but try to avoid that. That really doesn't help much. And yeah, you can change the opacities there, but I still like to do this generally with some you know, reasonable curves, very short, very simple, nothing too strong. And then again, I can take the whole group and make it 60% if I want to. Very, very subtle effect, but it makes a huge difference in my mind, in my eye. It makes a big difference, brighten the overall on top. So we went from this, which is an otherwise great shot, to this, which brings a little more attention to her face. We'll make it a little stronger again. So from this to this, and I think that's a huge difference. So that's how I do it. Curves is one of the most natural ways. You may want to use levels perhaps um, or exposure, different methods. But think about that. If ever you want feel like the shot is great, but I really want some attention to go to the subject's face, this is a great method to do it. It works really, really fast. Easy to program as an action if you don't have my old action. Very easy to program as an action to do that. And it works really, really well. One of the most effective, simplest things that I do on eh, about half my shots maybe that no one ever notices, completely invisible, but it just changes the energy and focus of a portrait.